What did you find on this one? Uh, I want the best I can do with this thing. Too scarlet, not too heavy. These are nice, man. Yeah. Man, these things are heavy. Tell me about it. <laughs> All right, welcome back. It is great to see everybody. On today's episode, we're going to be heading on over to the Golden Nugget Flea Market in Lambertville, New Jersey. It's just a random Wednesday morning, and we're going to see what kind of cool vintage items that we can find. So with that, let's get right into it. It's original bags and papers. Oh, okay. If you haven't seen that in a while. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Excuse me. What did we find on the... What did, we talk about? What, what did you find on this one? Oh, good. What's this here? How much is it? How much is it? Who's, who's it signed by? Uh, Michael Myers. Oh, this is Jason, Jason but Jason. Who, who signed it? He did. Uh, what is his name? Something Cotter. Okay. Oh, that wasn't Myers? No, that's Jason. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's different. I got all these myself, so. <laughs> yeah. Here's a here's that mask right there. I don't understand. This is sold items on eBay. There's For a that, dollar? That's what it says. Yeah, but I don't, is that autographed? Yeah. Yeah, and these are all. Um, I can't do it for a dollar. <laughs> yeah, what's your best price? 20 bucks, I don't know. How about 15 bucks? Done. All right. I'm easy, man. I'm not. I don't need to get rich. I, I have literally eight storage units full of this crap. Nice. See that? There's a oh, I, I think I got, I got a five. My, my 14 year old wants nothing to do with this stuff, so. Yeah, my kids either, or my grandkids. Spent... My kids, I gave them a few things that. Thanks, man. My yeah, thank you. So, I am a huge fan of Friday the 13th, and like I said before, when we were little kids, the sun was going down, we're out in the woods on our bikes, and man, boom, we were out of there. Because Jason was in there, and he was definitely coming after us. So, this was a psychological horror film, and I just always enjoyed it. So when I came across this mask, I definitely had to have it. Now, they didn't have the hockey mask in the first Jason, but this was actually signed by Ari Lehman. He was the original Jason, the little kid that comes out of the water. And this thing is just super cool. It's got the JSA um, authentication, whatever you want to call this thing. But I thought it was a pretty awesome deal for 15 bucks. Now, a quick note. I'm not really a phone person when I go to the flea market. I just go with my gut. That's kind of how I roll. I know what I like to pay, and that's just usually how I roll. However, this was a little bit unique. These guys had about eight different storage units, and they had all kinds of crazy cool stuff on the tables. So they didn't even know what all the stuff was worth. So what they were doing, they were going on eBay, going into completed items, and they were slashing all the prices in half, which is really fair. However, when you got a bunch of people at the table, I just don't have time for that. So I took it upon myself to look it up myself, and I found the mask that actually sold for a dollar, which worked in my favor because other ones did sell for a lot higher than that. But I used the lowest price as the comp, and I got it for 15 bucks. That's a steal, and um, there you go. Hey, morning. Eight tracks? Yeah, I love eight tracks. All 50 cents. Okay. Any rock ones in here? Let's see any rock and roll ones. Yeah, probably before mine as well. <laughs> What's up, man? How much are the comic books? Uh, $2. Most of them are $2 or less. All right. So those are three. <laughs> Four so, for ten. And I have three a bunch of the boxes here, too. Okay. These are three bucks a piece? Yeah, four for ten. How about... Um, three boxes back there. How about five bucks for these two? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. 
Thanks, Thank man. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate it. How much are these pens? Three dollars a piece. All right, I'll take uh, three of these. Thank you much, man. Thank you, my friend. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Take care. How's it going? Okay. Good. This one's missing one inside. The booklet's in there too, though. Okay. Okay. What are you asking for this uh, Mickey Mouse guy? Uh, I want the best I can do this thing. You can open it up and look over the Yeah, let me check it out. I got one. I have to inform. Got twenty for you on that if you want. Get a lot of Double counting. I appreciate it. Hmm. What? Mm, I'm thinking thirty bucks. I can't. How much? Like, I mean, I paid 35 for it, so that's, oh, okay. that's the reason why. Gotcha. If I could, believe me, I would. Yeah. Do How old do you think this is? I don't see a date or anything. I don't know if it's 60s or 70s. I think 60s, though, mm -hmm. really. The box is in such good condition, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? 35 bucks? Yeah. I'll take that off, yeah. You just don't see it that often. No, you, want, you want a bag for it? No, I got my bag you here. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So here's uh, 15 and hey, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, thank I you. Yeah, your... this is nice stuff. Thank you. Yeah. There, like so. Yeah. Hey, thanks a bunch. No, thank you. you too.
So there are a lot of Disney collectors out there and I thought this item was really cool. Now this is probably a little bit before my time even. It's probably from like the 1960s. It's a little Mouseketeer doll and it's got the original old school hat on there and stuff like that. But this box is in like fantastic condition and that was one of the things that drew me to the item. And it's pretty cool when you tilt the doll the eyes open and shut and stuff like that. So I'm not going to keep this in my private collection. I'll probably end up selling this on eBay. I'll clean up the cellophane a little bit. But this item's fantastic. It'll probably appeal to an old school Disney collector and there you go. So it's just got a little bit of stainage on there. Yeah, know? I mean, I was looking online at the other one, seeing what they go for. That one, yeah. it's the box. Yeah, it's not the box is not in the great condition, but everything else is brand new. Yeah. So just, what do you think your best price is on that? I was the forty-five was my best price. That was very competitive when I started looking on the landscape. Yeah. And I was being, there, you know. Yeah. Uh, Hmm, hmm, hmm. I do like it. Yeah, of course. Probably, like, when I looked, it was definitely a 45. That's like probably one of the most competitive ones. And those and those were some that weren't new. Yeah. Was doing, uh, you know, I was just checking out the Right, right, yeah. Oh, gotcha. appreciate it so Thank much you. again. I could probably clean that up a little bit. Yeah, I'm not too sure if you resell it or you know. Yeah, I'd probably I'd probably yeah. sell something like this. Yeah, I think it's a it's a you know it's a cool piece, especially if they just brought back the show. Yeah. yeah so. How about forty bucks? Forty five. Forty five. You're hanging. Good, yeah. You're hanging tough. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> price. I know. I was like, oh, I shouldn't sell it, but you know, it's a, I think it's a good price. It's a very good price. All right, I'll take it off yeah, you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for sending all those pictures over, though. No, no, and I appreciate it. For yeah. yeah, you got some neat stuff. So there's uh, forty. There's ten. Thank you so much. He just gave me change, so that's four uh, Thanks again, man. Hey, thanks, appreciate man. It. All right, I'll talk to you. All right, take care. So about a month or so ago, I came across this Beavis and Butthead TV talkers. Now at the time, I had no idea what these were or what the value was. I thought the box needed to be cleaned up a little bit, so I just passed on them at that time. However, when I came home and I looked up the value on them, I was pretty shocked. So when I went back up to the flea market, I got in touch with the seller, and I arranged for him to bring them back up for me so I can buy them off them. So I'll clean up this box, I'll end up putting it on eBay, and um, there you go. How's it going, man? What are these, Esco? Warren Hardy. Yeah. No, I mean the maker. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, they're Esco. These are nice, man. Yeah. Man, these things are heavy. Tell me about it. <laughs> you interested? They're pretty cool looking. Make me offer. Yeah, I don't even know what they go for anymore. I used to see these every once in a while. They go for two or three hundred dollars, but I'll sell them for less. Yeah. What you got looking? It looks like you got a little Laurel and Hardy collection. Yeah. Of I'll sell the three books for fifty. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, man. Oh, a Peter Pan thing. That's pretty cool. What do you get? What did you just buy? Yeah, that's okay. No, I would take it home and clean it up. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, it's a nice piece. I got another one at home. Yeah, yeah. Bigger, a little bit bigger than that. It's pretty nice. Yeah, 
I'll think about that, bud. How much is this? Uh, a dollar. All right, I'll take that. What was that other deal? Like, what was in it? It's a couple of drums. Oh, that's what. Oh, yeah, that's a mug. You didn't want the mug? Uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm still looking around. Yeah, make a pile. Yeah. Make a big pile. I got a box back here. Okay. This is what I've so far. Oh, excuse me, buddy. The Superman thing is uh, five dollars. What are you asking for? Forty. That's an old price there. There's a dollar for that tape there. Okay. Oh, excuse me. What's the Mickey? Mickey's French sitter. So another thing I really enjoy collecting, other than vinyl records, are these vintage 8-track tapes. And this one is really cool, and I usually look for these in really nice condition where it has a nice sticker on it. This is the Beatles Help album, and this is just super awesome. Now, one of the things I really need to get is an 8-track player, because silly old me decided it was a really good idea to sell my Weltron Spaceball that I picked up when I was in Tampa, Florida. I bought that thing for 60 bucks. I got it all running. I got a belt for the 8-track. Worked perfect. It was a super cool yellow, but I had this bright idea that I was going to sell it and I ended up selling it about a couple years back for about 400 bucks. I made a good profit on it, but however, I regret selling it, but I have a pretty good hunch that I could find another one at the flea market. Hopefully I find it in the next year because I'm acquiring all kinds of 8-track tapes and I really miss my old one. So with that, don't do as I do. Don't sell stuff you really like, but I do it all the time and there you go. Yeah, 20 bucks. Is that your best price on this yeah, thing? pretty nice condition. They sell over 20 bucks. What is it, a talking thing? Or does he yeah, walk he or something? something. Yeah, I don't know. We're pretty sure it works. Pretty cool. What is that? Around 2,000? Hmm. All right, I'll think about that. Hey, good morning. How much for this? It's just a little, yeah. Yeah, it's just a... Um, you, you know that gold box that you have on the table? That has all the little... Miniatures? Star Wars like figures. little Star Wars thing. There's like a little gun in there. How much is that? No, for the uh, one piece. It's just a tiny uh, so little it's gun. Tiny. It's really tiny. Yeah, it's a gun. Really tiny. It's just really tiny. He said $5. All right, um, I'll give you five bucks for that. Okay. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. That's cool.
All right, it is time for me to rock and roll. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed today's video. And if you're a huge fan of vintage toys from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, you like vinyl records, cool stuff like that, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, let us know how we're doing. But with that, I want everybody to have a fantastic week. Stay safe out there. See ya.